guys, how's it going? Haven't made a video in a while. Been really busy and kind of going through the summer mode here. So, not to mention that uh, after all those videos on the Euro 2008, I just was taking a little R and R, just relaxing a bit. Um, coming back with a video, I got a a message from, and I've already forgot his name. It is Climate Crisis. 103 and first of all thank you climate crisis for the message um, basically his take was or what he was inquiring about uh, was software do software companies intentionally limit the scope of their software do they say okay I'm not gonna make it available for Macintosh or I'm not gonna make it available for Linux uh, because it's just too much difficult to hire developers to create that type of software or you know or basically maybe even collusion maybe they are in cahoots with Windows perhaps and and want to keep their software on there I don't think it's collusion I don't think it's anything that devious or underhanded software companies are out to make money just like pretty much everybody else and if I think they felt there'd be money to be made uh, and the example that Climate Crisis 103 used <clears throat> was Adobe. If Adobe opened up its products to Linux, would there be money be made? You know, maybe Adobe doesn't think that they can make money through the Linux operating system. I don't like that. I, I think it's really short-sighted. A, a great example is AOL. And AOL has their instant messenger service. You know, it's been around forever. And they just had a new version released. I got an email because I've been an AOL subscriber, AIM subscriber for quite a while. Not AOL. I despise America Online. But I've been, you know, the instant messenger. I had it way back in the 90s. And anyways, I got an email and it said, oh, version you know, 6.8. I thought, oh. Okay, well, that's new. I haven't heard about that. Went to look at the site, and, oh, no, that's for Windows only. The Macintosh version is 4.7. So I'm thinking, wow, what a disparity. You know, like 6.8 to 4.7. Now, I might be wrong about those version numbers, but it's a pretty significant gap between the two. And I'm like, what the fuck do I want to download 4.7 for? <laughs> I already have iChat, so I don't need it anyways, and if it was 6.8 or whatever it was, you know, that might be enticing of all the uh, feature enhancements, but, I mean, that this is nothing new. If you're a Mac user, a Mac owner, um, a relatively new one, you know, this, this is nothing new. Uh, software companies, uh, not all software companies, there's some that are very Mac-centric, and... At, at, at worst, offer the Macintosh version of the software at the same time. You know, Firefox is a great example of that. But there's companies like AOL that don't. They just they they eventually make updates, but they don't quite get there. Yahoo is also pretty poor, even though Yahoo has some sort of agreement with Apple. You would never know it by their software. Uh, and I'm speaking about their instant messenger program. So, you know, I don't know. It, you know, it, it took a long time for Microsoft to get uh, Microsoft Office 2008 for Macintosh. Uh, you know, it took four years, but they did it, and it looks pretty, pretty good. Um, I mean, there's money to be made. Is there money to be made in the Linux operating system? Absolutely, without a doubt. It's whether these companies want to devote the time to it. I mean. Yes, they can make money, and when I, I also don't mean, you know, set up a, you know, one guy to develop, uh, for Adobe to sell, set up a Linux, you know, programs, but to, you know, devote a team of it to work on it to make it good, and you you're bound to make money. Now you might not make a huge profit, but you're going to make money, and and you're going to be flexible operating system. You know, crossing Windows, Macintosh, and Linux. I mean. I don't know. I don't know why companies don't do it. You know, it's now the other part of his message was some people don't want to switch to Macintosh because they don't think the operating system had they don't have enough programs that can run on the operating system. 
It's like, oh, you know, I use this Windows program, but it's not available for Macintosh. First and foremost, if anybody's thinking of switching to Macintosh, there, there's boot camp, there's parallels, there's, there, you can run Windows only applications on your Macintosh. Name a Windows computer, non-clone, that can do that. So you can run Windows, you can run Macintosh, Mac OS 10. It's, it's, you know, that's great. So this argument that it's a Windows only application really doesn't pan out because you can run Windows on your Macintosh. And the other thing is, for most programs, most popular programs that are Windows only, there usually is a pretty significant, if not better, counterpart software on available for the Macintosh. You know, if you don't like Microsoft Office, it is very spendy. I got a hell of a deal last year, the day after Thanksgiving. But if you don't want Microsoft Office, then there's iWork. iWork has an entire suite, word processor, uh, spreadsheet, um, Keynote, which is uh, basically like uh, PowerPoint, and that costs seventy nine dollars. Only seventy nine dollars. It's it's still in its infancy. It, it's still developing, but you know what? It's a hell of a deal. And you you have the text edit program, which is really kind of a, a sim simplistic word processor application on the Macintosh. But you know what? It can convert it to Microsoft Word, it can read Microsoft Word documents, it's pretty flexible. So there is the, those equivalents out there. It's just whether people you know, want to make the switch. The other thing is cost. People always fall back and, oh, but Macintosh has cost so much. You know what, you get what you pay for. So if you want a $400 laptop, yeah, you're going to get a piece of crap. I mean, I'm sorry, a computer that costs $300, $400 is a piece of crap. It's slow. It's buggy. It'll it'll it won't work properly with uh, software and and updates to operating systems. So you get what you pay for. So if you're gonna pay, a, you know, say, oh, you know, I got a thousand dollars, you can buy a Macintosh. They're available at that price. In fact, you can even get one for cheaper, the Mac Mini. All you need is a monitor, and heaven knows there's enough monitors around this world, and that they go way back. In fact, my Mac Mini, which I bought just last year, is attached to my my 17-inch cinema studio display, which is from 1999. It's perfect. It's 17 inches. You know, it's not the huge, not the biggest, largest monitor in the world, but it's 17 inches. That's not you know anything small and to cry about. And it, it's perfect. It, it syncs up perfectly. There's no problems. So you want the Mac Mini? You know, I got the higher end one, which was like seven ninety nine, seven hundred ninety nine dollars, and there's a cheaper one. So yes, there is Macintosh is under a thousand, and there's big rumors that they're going to make another device under a thousand dollars or you know way cheaper. Whether it's going to be a, a laptop, you know, MacBook, or who knows what it's going to be. You know, rumors is are going crazy over it. But anyways. So, to me, there's no reason not to switch unless you're, you know, incredibly uncomfortable with the Macintosh operating system, which it really is not that difficult to learn. And, you know, it's a far cry from all the buggy bugs and viruses and Trojan horses and issues that Windows has. Why would, why, why would you want, I mean, unless you've had Windows your entire life and you just feel uncomfortable, sure, stay with it. Why not? Stay with XP, though. Don't you dare go to... Vista. Uh, what I've heard is Vista is just terrible, and what my experience with Vista is terrible. It's like, okay, restart your computer. Okay, ten minutes later. Oh, okay, it's just restarting. WTF? What the hell? What is wrong with Vista? <laughs> so, anyways, enough of that rant. Um, you know, if you want a Mac, great. There's no reason not to. Whether it be software, hardware, or whatever the issue is, there really is never. There's, there's not a reason not to. You, know, you get what you pay for. Just remember that. Okay, guys?